Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and today we are watching episode 11 of season 4 of Supernatural. So last time around was really substantial, like it was a really meaty episode. Um, I mean, it, well, it was the previous episode and the episode prior to that, like it was kind of a two-parter and a lot of stuff happened. Um, a lot of stuff that really progressed like the seasonal storyline and... Yeah, we, we got a lot of information. I'm adding in like episode 9 as well now. So episode 9 and 10, we got a lot of information on the backstory of uh, like Ruby and Sam, what they did during the four months that Dean was uh, in hell. And uh, we also met this woman, Anna, who apparently is a fallen angel. Uh, and there was a struggle to reclaim her grace, which is the thing that gives her angel powers. Or angel power, the thing that makes her an angel, I guess. And yeah, there was a whole lot of things that went on. We saw this guy, uh, Alistair, who is a demon, who is apparently like uh, the chief torturer of hell, uh, who had a, took a great interest in Dean. And like, there were so many things that went on. Alistair was in general a great highlight of, uh, of the previous two episodes. I really like the 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 performance, the actor who they got to play this demon Alistair. It's just the way he speaks is just it's just very suitable. It's just very I don't know. Uh, yeah, it fits very very well. He's very soft spoken. It's a bit like uh, he's a bit like Marlon Brando in The Godfather, that kind of like whispery quality to his voice, and yeah, it works really really well. He has a really threatening presence. At the end of the previous episode, there was also a really touching scene between Sam and Dean, when Dean uh, confessed to what he had been doing in hell, uh, both to us and to Sam. Apparently during the 40 years he spent in hell, the last 10 years of those, he was torturing people. I mean, I don't blame him for that whatsoever. It's just like, <laughs> it's what you're supposed to do. It's the system I have I have an issue with, not Dean for participating in that system. It's not his fault. He just he was just trying to survive. So so far this season has been really really enjoyable, and I'm really looking forward to seeing where it goes next. It's basically like I'm kind of expecting every episode, every new episode I get into, to be a more like average, more regular supernatural episode as in not related to the seasonal storyline and like again and again i get pleasantly surprised because it's not and like i'm wondering how long they can keep that up you know there have been a couple of episodes very few though that haven't been related to the seasonal storyline and they've been good um like there was one that was a little weaker than the others i think uh, but I mean, that's just my opinion. I'm, like, everyone has different tastes and different opinions. Like, episodes resonate more with some people than others. Like, for instance, I have one person in, in the Discord who is not a great fan of the season one episode, uh, Asylum. And I freaking love that episode. I think that's one of the best episodes uh, of season one. And, like, yeah, I mean, everyone's different. <laughs> everyone gets different things out of different episodes and so on. So I can't wait to see what this episode brings. And uh, yeah, let's. I guess let's go find out. As always though, I just want to mention the Patreon before we get started. On the Patreon you can get early access to these episodes and you can also get them uncut, not edited down like here on YouTube. So check that out if you are interested. But with that said, let's get into episode 11. Okay. Come on. So we're doing ghosts this time, maybe? Probably not. Because ghosts wouldn't lock the door, right? Or open a door for that matter. They just kind of like appear. Hey, you. You? It, oh. It's impossible. You know her. Dude get murdered. I'm assuming. Hmm. I wonder what this is. What are you doing? <laughs> What's it look like I'm doing? Like you're looking for a job? Yahtzee. <laughs> Dean wants to keep busy, apparently. <laughs> it's understandable. 
Like, he doesn't want to go to sleep and think about, yeah, have the nightmares that he keeps having. But you got us chasing cases nonstop for like a month now. You can't run forever. No, that's hard to do. What am I running from? You know what you're running from, Dean. You don't need to put on a brave front, Dean. Stratton, it's okay. Nebraska, farm town, man gets hacked. And then he just doesn't engage. <laughs> Sounds like a ghost. Yeah, yeah it does. does. But there are things that don't add up about it. I don't really think, like, according to my memory at least, ghosts don't really, like, open doors. I might be wrong, of course. I mean, she did look like a ghost. Um, but she didn't flicker like ghosts usually do. And she... And she also, like, opened and went through the door. So, it's it's a bit inconsistent. I don't... I don't know what's... I don't... It might be a ghost, but I'm not... I'm not 100% sure. Oh, I just realized what it was I... Oh, I just realized what I saw. Sometimes it takes a while for my brain to process. Um, the sign had a soul... It, it was a sold sign on the sign... On the for sale sign. Um, but it had fallen off, so they didn't see it. So this place is sold. That's fast, isn't it? Three bedrooms, two baths, and one homicide. This place is gonna sell like hotcakes. Yeah, I mean, it already did. I don't understand why this place would sell like hotcakes, though, because look at it, it's not... <laughs> it's not a fabulous place. Yeah. That's probably a dumb winner. All these old houses yeah. had No. That seems like a fancy thing to have. A food elevator. Blood stains, fresh coat of mm. paint. It's a bunch of bubkas. Needles all over the EMF, place. though. Yeah, power lines. Great. Oh, okay. Never mind, I guess. Think I got left behind? By who? Unless <laughs> Bill Gibson likes to play with doll heads. You don't know what he likes. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, uh-oh is the word. Apparently it's not. You know, I mean, has it been a long time since uh, Bill died? I don't feel like it has. But what do I know? I don't know how... How far Dean goes into the past when doing research on to find cases. Did anyone bother to check if we get a signal out here? Actually, I did, Kate. But we decided to move anyway, just to ruin your life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like typical parent, huh? Thanks for the help, Uncle Dave. Call it like I see it, buddy. Hey. Cool, Uncle. <laughs> Who are they? Yeah, what are you going to come up with this time, boys? <laughs> County code enforcement. We <laughs> okay. had building inspectors so, last... As a building inspectors. Okay. Until this house is up to code, it's uninhabitable. All right, and what if we don't? You get a fine, you go to jail. Pick your poison. <laughs> They're really good at bluffing. One night, and I'll take care of everything. Blood. Everywhere. And Mr. Gibson, where was he? Everywhere. Mm. His wife dies in childbirth. Daughter hangs herself in the attic. Twenty years later, I'd be bitter too. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Did you notice anything odd? Because, like, if it was the ghost of the daughter, then wouldn't she be the age she was when she died? And if she, if the daughter dies I twenty what's years, working. what's that? After. Sometimes I mean, I if the wife died in child. Yeah. Oh, for goodness sake! Let's pause so I can think this through. If the wife dies in childbirth, I'm assuming that this is a le bit of a leap, but I'm assuming that she died giving birth to the daughter, and the daughter died ha hung herself twenty years later. So she must have been twenty years old. I don't think that ghosts appear as their younger selves, do they? I don't know. There is something fishy going on here, and I don't think it's ghosts, but I don't know what it is. Do you happen to know where Mrs. Gibson and her daughter were buried? Oh, they were both cremated. Oh, well, there it is, then, I mean... So it probably wasn't the mom or the daughter. Unless there's something else left behind. But at the same... Maybe it was a prior child that died. Like, maybe his wife had a another daughter who died when she was, like, 10 or something, 12. The, 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 the one we saw looked around that age. Guys. Not from the county, I can tell you that. Oh, no. Built enough houses, have you, huh? Hey... You okay? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you have a squat you have a squatter. <laughs> it's gonna be great here, Kate. It really is. You sure about that? Yeah, Mom. Because I'm skeptical. 
I mean, it's a supernatural episode after all. <laughs> Usually a lot of bad things happen during a supernatural episode. <laughs> That's spooky. <laughs> oh. Does she want to play? <laughs> Hello? No, oh, she's shy. <laughs> I'm Danny. Hey, Danny. Hi. Yeah, it's no way this is a ghost. What do you mean? Us. On a farm. Talking about zucchini. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't think you're going to work the farm, are you? Because that requires quite a bit of land and equipment. We're going to be happy. I can't put the kids through another year like the last. Because, I mean, just living in a farmhouse and having some land to plant some vegetables doesn't a farm make. <laughs> really? No, not really. No, not really. That doesn't work, but... Um, I mean, it might... Like, if you make the argument that, like, we are ghost hunters and we think that there's a ghost here, and we're concerned. Get your butt down here. Like, it's okay if they think you're crazy. It's not your kid, Ted. Just butt out. But if you're there because, like, we, we're very concerned for your, for your safety or something. Maybe not. I don't know. The girl in the walls did it. The girl in the walls? She wants you to go and me to stay. Yeah. I can stay, but she hates grown-ups, and if you don't leave, she's gonna get really, really mad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he is telling the truth, I'm sure. If Andy were here, he'd believe me! Upstairs. Now. Who's Andy? Ah, right. They moved because of a tragedy. Because it's gonna be different here. And Andy, I'm guessing, is a uh, an older brother who passed away somehow. Ugh. Ew, Buster. Gross. What's the matter with you? It's not gonna be Buster. Watch Buster jump into the bed. Ah, there he is! <laughs> oh, that's creepy. Yeah, what's licking your hand? <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. I just got molested by Casper the pervy ghost. That's what happened. Ghost? Yes, Dad, a ghost. It's a girl in the walls. No. Who are you guys? Relax, please. Oh, no. You have a ghost. A ghost. I, I just realized, because they showed the dog, I just realized there's a dog. When there's a dog in anything remotely scary, what happens to the dog? Yeah. Buster! That's why they showed the dog leaving the house. Buster! I hate being right, and I hate it when shows do this. Or shows don't usually do this, but I hate it when movies do this. They add a dog just to kill it. Go back inside. Go! This is upsetting. Oh no. Oh, come on! Yeah. I mean, what kind of ghost slashes tires? Dude, the guns are gone. So's the. <laughs> yeah, and loots the trunk. Not a ghost messes with a man's wheels! No kind of ghost. It's something else. <laughs> yeah, there she is. She's there! She's there! What's the ghost doing outside? You want to stay and find out? Exactly. There are too many things that don't add up here. Everybody back inside now, move! I mean, think about it, Dean. They were cremated, She, the daughter died when she was 20, the wife died in childbirth, they're not the right ages. They were cremated, slashing tires, like it, it doesn't make sense. Trust us. You hunt ghosts? That's right. Among other things. She was paler and a lot dirtier, but that was her. That's the girl in the walls. So it was the daughter? That girl in the picture. Oh. Oh. I think we have a Fritzel situation here. The maid got her story wrong. Rebecca wasn't cremated. Unless her spirit's just attached to something inside the house. She yeah, but she's the, she's the wrong age. It's just some backwoods hillbilly bitch, and I'm not about to sit around here waiting for her to go all deliverance on my ass. Well, no. <laughs> yeah. Gotta find a banjo and stuff. <laughs> I've got a gun. You don't get your ass back in that circle, you can have yourself a third hole. <laughs> yes, Dean is determined to save these people against their wishes. <laughs> I'm not letting that bastard or anyone else die tonight. You cool? 
<laughs> he's going ham. He's, I think you need sleep, Dean. <laughs> yeah, see, there is... There's no way this is a ghost. That leaves the question of what it is. Yeah, why, why does a ghost need a knife? <laughs> yeah, Dean, what now? She's crazy. I don't know, maybe it's the daughter, Rebecca. Maybe she didn't hang herself. Dude, no, she'd have to be like 50 years old by now. I don't know. What'd you find in the attic? Yeah, I guess. Danny, Ted, we gotta go. I'm good. Danny, come on. Danny, bye. Oh, no. <laughs> now Danny's missing. Ah. Uh, um, yeah, my working theory currently is that we are dealing with a uh, a Fritzel situation. Like the, the guy in Austria who imprisoned his daughter and uh, got her pregnant and like kept him in kept him in prison. I'm not we going out there with him. Mom alone! Oh, she's right, she's right. Until we find your son, the safest place for you right now is in the shed. Because I mean she is this this girl is acting extremely feral. Go. Let's see. Let's see here now. Um uh, I'm trying to do the math in my head. If the wife died, died in childbirth, the daughter hung herself 20 years later, that means that the daughter would have been 20, uh, and she would have been 50 by now, Sam said. That means that there's been 30 years since the daughter hung herself. And this girl is like 12 or something. So I'm kind of guessing that it's the daughter's a granddaughter, which is kind of outrageous. If the daughter gave birth to this girl, then this girl would be at least 30 years old, and she looks like 12. So there ha she has to be the daughter's granddaughter. Which is outrageous, like, if he's been able to keep them locked up for that long. Like, it might be a compounded situation, where uh, it's like the... Uh, Oh, what was it called? The the Rougarou in episode four, where it's a monster who appears, or a monster, uh, a different creature, like a shapeshifter or something, who appears human at first, but then at some point starts to change into something else. And that's why the wife hung herself. No, she died in childbirth. The wife uh, died in childbirth. Maybe it was the it was Bill who killed his, his wife. And maybe it was uh, that Bill... Uh, the daughter hung herself. It was actually Bill who killed her because she was turning into a monster or something. But that would require two messed up things. So maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Go. What are you doing? She's human. She had to come from somewhere. Yeah. Check the basement, dude. There must be like a a cell or something. Because Fritzel had like a dungeon. He built like a dungeon in his basement. Come on. Another one of these. Like, I don't know if this is accurate. If there is this much space inside the walls. I don't think that's the case here in Sweden at least. Or in most places. Like, we have insulation in, in between the outer walls and the inner walls. There's just like a, a layer of insulation, but it's not this friggin' wide. Maybe it is this wide though in 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 some American homes, like because of uh, they insulate with air, as an, an open space between the inner and outer walls. Well, do you want to? Just looks so wasteful, you know. But then you can't waste space in America because it's so big. <sighs> Going down, huh? I'm liking. I'm really liking this episode so far. Dog, it's what's for dinner. Yeah, that's after all. Always why dogs exists in things like this. Her what? Oh no! Don't separate. Jump down with him, Ted. Uncle. Yeah, Ted was his name. I think. Go down there together. Don't split up. And definitely don't wander off on your own, Ted. <gasps> ah! 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 
Maybe I'm misestimating her age. Like, she looks like 12 or 13 around there somewhere. <sighs> this is always what happens when you split up, Dean. You should know this by now. Sam, it's me. Help me out. Yeah. It's, it's Dean. All by his lonesome. You would think that they would have learned by now to never travel alone. Why doesn't he come Especially in? with civilians. It's one thing if it's them, although when Sam and Dean split up, it never ends well <laughs> either. But like, well, it's usually oh, well, I'm somewhat. What, is, what does that mean? What does that mean that you're sorry? Are you saying that he's dead? Yes, that is what no, he's saying. No, not... I shouldn't have left him alone. <laughs> no, you shouldn't have. You should know better by now, dude. Do you remember what he said about the girl who lived in the walls? She said he could stay. Yeah, but not the adults. She likes kids. What happened to Andy happened, okay? I cannot oh. change that, but I will find Danny. I Are we going to find out what happened to Andy? Like, I'm assuming Andy died, but how? Andy, your son? Oh, we're going to find out. He got himself killed in a car accident last year. Ah... Uh... That's unfortunate. Nearly tore Susan and I apart. Still could, I imagine. Yeah. Those things, I think those things often happen. Like a, a child passing, pulling the parents apart. What could possibly go wrong in the country? Quite a bit, actually. Depends on where you live, though, I I'm guess. I'm getting but... your son back. If it's the last godforsaken thing I do. <laughs> of course you are, Dean. You're a hero, after all. The girl back there? Pretty sure she was Rebecca's daughter. Rebecca had a kid? I'm guessing granddaughter. Wait, why kill herself after the baby? Maybe because her dad called her a dirty little whore and said he was going to lock the baby up where nobody could ever see it. Story ripped from an Austrian headline. Ha! <laughs> they actually referenced Josef Fritzl. <laughs> this house her whole life? You saw yeah, it looks like it. Has she ever seen light? She's barely human. I'm sure her life was hell, Dean. That doesn't mean she gets a free pass for a murder spree. Like you know what hell's like. I didn't... It's a colloquialism, Dean. Get over it. He kept her hidden, locked up, but he had to feed her, didn't he? I guess. I think I know where. Oh, right, the dumb waiter. That was probably boarded up fairly recently. That's why they made a point of pointing it out. Because I was, I was, I didn't understand what was the point was of pointing that out. That is some heavy grain. Or noise, I guess. Here she is. Yeah, there's no way she's 30. Right? No, there's no way she's 30. Or is it? I'm terrible at telling age. <laughs> or Sam was very wrong on the on estimating the, her age. But I said that I would get him. I will. Let me. Oh, the scratches on the inside. That is so messed up. I wonder when this episode hit the TV. Like how fresh the Fritzel thing was then. Oh no. Now these two are by themselves. Oh, without protection. Hey, the shotgun. Or one of the shotguns. Which is a klepto. Yeah, she is. But she's outside now, so you're safe. You have some time to work. Danny! I think we found him. <laughs> Hurry, he's coming back! He? He? Her brother! Oh no. <laughs> oh crap. So there's two of them. Maybe more? Maybe there's a whole friggin' family that lives down there. She looks older, right? So is this Rebecca's firstborn, maybe? Wait, how old would she have been then? I think Sam is wrong on his numbers. It's okay. Get him out of here. You gotta go. Dean! <laughs> Dean is busy. He can't come to the phone right now. <laughs> Yeah, he looks in his 20s. Unfortunate. 
How are you going to explain this to the cops? <laughs> Oh, and then there's this as well. <gasps> Subtitle said Rebecca. <laughs> what did you do, Bri? <laughs> Nothing like a terrible secret to tie a family together, huh? <laughs> Quite the bonding experience. <laughs> Do please fill me in. Was that supposed to be Rebecca? And she was like, yeah, in her 50s and uh, or like 45 around there. And the boy was her one and only kid. No, we're the opposite of OK, but yeah, we're together. Yeah, this was a very bonding experience after all. You don't want your burger? <laughs> yeah, Sam is concerned. <laughs> but you're not them. They were barely human. No, you're right. I wasn't like them. No, you weren't. Don't blame yourself. Don't, no, don't. <sighs> don't blame yourself. I did it for the sheer pleasure. No, you didn't. That's a, you're making that up. In that situation, like, that's what you're supposed to do. All those years. All that pain. Yeah. Finally getting to deal some match yourself. Yeah, it's very human. It's very understandable. No matter how many people I save, I can't change that. Not ever. Ah, uh, that's what he's after. That's why he's so desperate to save people. I know it doesn't help, but like just saying that don't let it bother you. Like, don't let it bring you down. Like, that's what he needs to do. Because he was put in an impossible situation. Where, like, he did what he was supposed to do in that situation. He tried to resist as long as possible, but, like, don't blame yourself uh, for doing what you were supposed to do. Uh, but, of course, he still will. Because, like, it's like saying to a depressed person, well, don't be depressed. We tried that. Like, <laughs> Yeah, that's not how it works. <laughs> like, just cheer up. <laughs> it's like t telling someone who has like a, a a broken arm. Like, have you tried having it not be broken? Like, yeah, sure. I mean, I can try it, but I don't think it's not going to do much good. That's not how that works. But man, it's so frustrating seeing Dean like that. Because like the fact that it bothers him as much as it does is a really promising sign. Here's a suggestion for hell. If you, like, the promise to Dean was that if you put people on the rack and start torturing, then we'll take you off the rack. How about a tweak that might be more efficient? The more people you torture, and the better you torture them, the less we torture you. So you give people an incentive. Maybe that would yield worse results, though. Because then you're not torturing people because you want to torture people. Then you torture people because you don't want to be tortured yourself. And if you're trying to corrupt people to make people enjoy giving pain, I don't know. Maybe you still they still would because like it becomes more of a like Pavlovian conditioning thing. Yeah, I don't think that would work actually. Because like part of like the torturing, like for Dean, they tortured his body first to break his mind so that he would torture others and so like that dean torturing people is also torture maybe i already mentioned this dean torturing other people is torture for dean because it tortures his mind in they're trying to break his mind so that he becomes something that enjoys hurting others for the sheer pleasure of hurting others i don't know man this was a really good episode though i really enjoyed this like it was for once it was not at all. It was not even a little related to the seasonal storyline. Like the whole thing with the raising of the witnesses. That's the, yeah, that's the, was the one I think. Uh, like, you can very easily turn something, any episode, into an episode that's related to the apocalypse by making it be a seal, I guess. Like the raising of the witnesses, like Samhain, and so on. Like, you could easily make every episode uh, seasonally 
relevant. Like this episode was a bit like the episode with the woman who died in the car crash on the road. Um, the episode where we got to see everything from her perspective. Usually, uh, we as the viewer and uh, the boys, Dean and Sam, we have the same information. In this case, we had more information than Sam and Dean. In the case with the woman, uh, the boys had more information that we than, than we, the viewer. So it's like kind of tangentially the same. Because we saw that this didn't completely add up as a, a haunting. It really bothered me though, the dog. I don't like it when, when TV shows or movies, like it's mainly movies, horror movies, that do that. They include a dog just for the sake of getting g killing it and making us upset. And it's like, it's so frustrating because it feels cheap, you know? It feels, I don't know, unearned maybe? Like you can, you can do pretty much anything and I don't really mind. Maybe I'm desensitized, but harm a dog and then you, you deserve whatever is coming to you <laughs> completely. Oh, well, so I um, I don't know when this season aired, maybe 2010, somewhere around there, maybe 2009, because I checked and the Fritzel thing, Josef Fritzel in Austria, that happened in 2008. Or it didn't happen then, but that's when it was uh, uncovered. That's when people found out. I don't know. It really resonated with me. Like, uh, monsters fascinate me. Like, that's why I enjoy folklore and mythology and, like, monsters from the past. And, like, modern monsters are, like, serial killers or uh, serial child abusers and stuff like that. And that also is fascinating to me. How humans can sink that low you know again it's this kind of same thing like what are monsters that has been raised previously in this in this season with yeah they with the rougarou for instance and prior to that like the whole arc with gordon was very much focused on that concept like what is a monster and i really like the exploration of that of that aspect of supernatural so yeah this was a good episode i enjoyed that but that is it for today. I thank you very much for joining me and I hope to see you in the next video. But until then, do take care of yourselves and peace out.